Kia ora, Pacific greetings and talo falava to our English speaking audience. For longer, the Voyage program aims to communicate key information to raise awareness within the Pacific communities and also create greater understanding between our communities. The show encourages passion for education, business ventures, celebrating culture and understanding the social and economic issues impacting our communities. This show was made possible by Foundation North, Voxid and Porridge Civil Engineering, The Voyage Media Limited and Face TV. This show is available on YouTube, Face TV, On Demand and at voyagemedia.co.nz. Ole o tūle o le nei pelo kalame i na ia fai loa, fa mala malama malonga longo pui a liiva ai nga taua, o le no no fo ai le nei a tunu. Ia fai mata i ala e te tala ai la ta tova ai, i le o te lenga e le o le fa pū mo mo. A mala malama lo o tōma malu e le e uma le fetu leni mai o manatu, ma māfo fongo le lei. E ma fai ai o na tātou whātino ina, tū langa tāle whenga i le lei mo le te mao ainga o tātou tanga tānu sa moa i Aotearoa nei. In the studio today we have Sabrina C. Tiafale is the director of Bluesburg, consulting a board trustee of Samoa Leadership Program and one of the directors for PolyX Limited. Sabrina is passionate about our Pacific communities. She has been involved in numerous community-based initiatives in parallel to 20 plus years of combined experience in strategic leadership roles with local government operations and state-owned enterprises. Malole, so if welcome to our program, Sabrina, Malol, so if we love you, I'll tell 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 you, Pacific Settlement Support Services' mission is to produce vibrant and successful new Kama communities from the Pacific that are positively contributing to the well-being of New Zealand. Let's talk about uh, Pacific Settlement Support Services. What, what, what's the Pacific Settlement? All right. So Pacific Settlement Support Services, uh, we started on the 27th of June. Um, and the service is really to help newcomers from the Pacific, whether it be from Samoa, Tonga, Fiji, wherever in the Pacific they're from, mm -hmm. the whole intention is to help them settle and to position them to be prosperous in New Zealand. Uh, we've heard a lot of anecdotal feedback from the Pacific community that a lot of the things they're suffering or going through the hardships they are going through right now uh, is because they never had proper settlement support. And let's face it, the mm. islands, the mm. environment there is completely different to how it is in New Zealand. Ole, what's the vision of, the, of this organisation? Ole Oliver ai ma mau la vai ale service in e fa pia ona fa no fo sa unio ta tu ta nga ta in e manuia ye ola manuia to no new sila fa pia ona la to to ni se ma ile 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 ta ma a in on new sila wai e tele la vai a li poti fo e fa pia tele o ta tu ta nga ta lo o le wins no no lai benefiti ile o ye se la to ma o to ni il ma lo new sila ai na le mai yo me ye ta lo lo to or te lo tato un tangata e fau ma lo o tato o pio sa moana mo mo tu to tas il pacifica ato o melal na sa fail ni au om na ngai tamu fai fa no fo sa uni o tato tangata e mo fai ona tele se la to ma ato o tato tangata na fai a yale le bridge le a New Zealand o la to sa amata New Zealand it tau la tato to e fo il temilia e fai tato man tangata tato e tele o tato ma lo lo tongi a le o fai tato man tangata lo fa pe ona eli eli mai ma and I'm pretty sure that's the mission statement also. Of course. Of your organization, the Pacific Settlement Support yes. Services. Yes. Uh, our mission really is to provide uh, a settlement support service that is culturally uh, relevant and um, spiritually sensitive. Something that's pragmatic mm -hmm. to our people um, and also delivered in the, in the diverse languages. Because we do know that language is a, the, one of the biggest barriers for our people to seek help. So this service is primarily delivered in the various languages of our Pacific people uh, and also knowing how to navigate between the cultural nuances that they come in, uh, come into, uh, mm. but also acknowledging um, where they've come from and, 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 and you know, how that is applied um, to, to their new communities, really. Ole, 
le ta wo ye no to to ma na tu e le vai tai mi o le a malanga ba na yo ta tu ta ngata ne e vai tai mi le fast fulu the 40s or 50s or 60s ma le early 70s a se brina o le tu langa fo le they were thrown into the deep end yeah the uh, being new migrants they say lot to see the fear they don't have a clue at all about yeah. how terror new zealand in terms so, of buying a umaya le to tap in in the pacific settlement support services so if i say now sound wrong eh all alanga eh yo ngata sta sil fam we mol ne and is there a relationship with samoa the new zealand immigration and the quota system from samoa and even other pacific nations yeah I think if we reflect back into the 1950s when our people started to come, um, back then there was a very tight Samoan community led by our pastors back then. Mm. I think a lot of people know about Reverend Lewa. Mm. You know, these are the sort of the settlers and reverends back then. The pioneers of Exactly. Yeah. So these pastors and ministers around them, they were sort of like the settlement. They were the transitional mm. service that helped mm. our people. They came into New Zealand um, to look for work. Uh, but we've seen that over the years, uh, not many Pacific people go to church anymore. Um, we moved more from the extended family network more to individual um, families. You, you know, cost of living and everything else plays a part in it. Uh, so the people that are coming now no longer have that same strong support. Mm -hmm. uh, they're coming and living with families who themselves may have come over from the quota in Samoa. Mm -hmm. And living in congested homes, um, that just compounds to their families that are living here's problem. Uh, the quota system is where we get most of, I mean, we received our first lot uh, of quota people last Thursday. We had about 30 people fresh off the plane and right into our offices. Uh, we currently don't have an arrangement whatsoever with any government. But we've gone through and had a partnership with uh, the company in Samoa um, and their services primarily are immigration advice. Uh, this is a lot of our agency in Samoa. They do not only immigration advice but also come to New Zealand and look for job offers for these people because the quota application is highly contingent on you having a job offer. Mm -hmm. So that's what these ladies do. They also provide pre-migration services mm -hmm. for people that come to them. I mean, this is a business so obviously they have a fee there as well. So they reached out to us and asked us if we could provide settlement services for their people. Um, uh, I, th I think it's, it's very important because, uh, I mean, under the quarter, the Treaty of Friendship, under the quarter system every yes. year, yeah. we, uh, uh, New Zealand government allowed 1,100 Samoans to, to come across. Yes. But we hardly ever reached that amount because of is that some other part of your organization, of your <laughs> business? Well, yes, the, you are right. I guess the partnership le pol fainga pa anga mali loto tau. O la taulia au o nanga o tau fai suwe pe fainga luenga. Wal me tele ale la yona le fa manuia yo mai le kota e mo e sei umal le afese lau. Aya ayo o lo tei me fai pe fainga luenga e wai le na pe fainga luenga foi o lo soi fua ma lo loi na li po tele viso leo leo. Ia me um ai e o me fai fainga ta la bol pe fainga luenga. Ia o tei lo le na o lo tau o lo fai le a um nanga te le lava yo lo fai le o nanga le Samoa. But Samoa has 1,100 every year in the quota system, but there's also PAC system, the Pacific Access um, category that New Zealand has with Tonga and Fiji. Fiji About yeah. 250 people every year come through that process as well. Pacific Settlement Support Services provide newcomer communities information about key services that they will need to connect with and be aware of. PSSS work with each family to create their settlement plan after a comprehensive needs assessment to determine their immediate, medium and long-term needs. Information shared in this category include New Zealand culture, government structure, way of living, law and order, education and health system, housing and many more. What are the outcomes? What are the outcomes you're looking for, Sabrina? We have three main outcomes, really. Um, one of which is all about self-sufficiency. We, we want our people to uh, be better developed in, in where they're at and be self-sufficient. The other one is all about making sure that their health and well-being uh, uh, improve or, or, or um, yeah, health and well-being is something that we need to look at, improved. Um, second is about self-sufficiency and third is all about personal development in New Zealand, making sure that they are prosperous. 
Um, so the services that, uh, that we provide, we're going to walk with these people for mm. three years of their first years in New Zealand uh, to make sure that we do achieve these outcomes. Um, we have, like, for example, budgeting is budgeting. one of the, the services it's one that of we the also provide, yeah. one of the major ones, because there's no financial literacy back on islands. Yeah. But they land here, you have so many loan sharks around, credit mm. is easily available, and these people have n do not know about credit checks and credit history. So, tell you to Langa Tau Aitalafu, Matua Fango Fia no Moa in eight, Mato Love, tell you Naitangatae or my Fanga Elato Aing, Ayo Fano Nonga Tupi, Elato Tele Loa, to Langa Fapea. So, Ola O Nangala yet and Fai Fapula may yet on no fault a yay. Um, or mm. final packet till to tell you that to a little fire more more a little low and meta will pack it. Fast also in or say lady or say lady low to pay sow low to tongue, pay low to the money or the pedal tissue. You must see spinning every sum more per lava. Eoy, I'll meet a old melna man, I yell needs assessment to lay fi. Walter tell you, or my far mow to your latter wine. Yeah, or I'm more my latter tongue. Tom fire have a support. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all the, the lives and, and yeah. you know? I guess for me it's from my own migration journey to New Zealand. Um, mm. I came via the quota in 2011. Uh, Laura Kyle Hall, uh, there are three of us behind the Pacific Settlement Support Services. That's me, uh, Laura Kyle Hall, she is the owner of Pacific Business Hub. Um, so her migration to New Zealand, she came when she was 18 years, eight, uh, years old. And then I have my cousin Mandy Siitia Ailoi, who represent those that receive us on this end. Mm. Uh, so I guess through our, it's through our migration journeys, we talked about it. How come there is never, there hasn't been a service which provides sort of navigate us around these things? Because it, it was good that I came, I knew how to speak English, mm. and I had families. But there were still things that I needed to know about. Like I heard a lot of people talking about winds. They're like, what is winds? How mm. do I get? Do I get anything out of mm. that? The council. Um, yeah, council. Mm. Um, public housing, transport, housing, housing, transport. Credit history was. Yeah. We went to so many houses to look for a house to get into, but they all asked for credit history, and I was like, what is it that they're talking about? Yeah. And um, I was like, wow. I, if this is my experience, imagine what it'll be li like for people who don't know a lot of English mm. and who may not have the, the support that I had. Um, so yeah, so that's that was sort of the common thread that pulled us together and say, you know what? And knowing our people, you know, with uh, very low self-esteem, they're, they're very shy people, yeah. they, they, they pull away from asking, yeah. you know, to find out. Exactly. Yeah. Language is one of the biggest that's, that's barriers. That's another barrier. And it's a completely, it's a massive mindset change, you mm. know. People don't think it too much about it, but uh, they're moving from a place that's never had winter, <laughs> um, you know, don't have a lot of these buildings and services, never seen a lot of white people around. Um, so it's a, it's a massive culture shock for them, and they need it to be, you know, walked uh, uh, with during their first years in New Zealand. Yeah, all the Pacific Settlement Support Services, Samo Malau Tampo Inga. Yo to fa fonga mai as a brina malana saunga. Ele ele titi le la to fa moi moi. All the tom fa ina ia fa masani, ma fa lo to tele, ma abatu langona sa ili ma ma lo malangona to wivi ina em fa ion ta to tu tu lunga. 
Et moi, c'est un peu à film, à la maille à un mois, à un mois. Et là, tout ça, c'est un peu à nous. Et là, tout ça, c'est un peu à nous. Et là, tout ça, c'est un peu à nous. Et là, tout ça, c'est un peu à nous. Quand nous revenons, nous allons parler de plus sur les issues qui affectent notre communauté pacifique. Welcome back. This show was made possible by Foundation North, Vuxit and Boris Civil Engineering, The Voyage Media Limited and Face TV. Continuing our discussion with Sabrina Falle, Director of Blue Spur Consulting Limited, Pacific Culture Experience, Polyx. Auckland is host to the largest Polynesian population in the world. And with it is the rich and diverse Pacific cultures of Pacific peoples, which in 10 years will make up 18% of its population. A feasibility study was commissioned by MPP in 2016 to determine the viability of establishing a Pacific Culture Experience and Entertainment Center in Auckland. It concluded that a Pacific Culture Experience provided at a least facility as opposed to building a facility is more economically sound and financially lucrative given New Zealand's growing international tourism. Sabrina, let's uh, talk about PolyX. What's PolyX within your, your organization? All right. So PolyX is the company, PolyX Limited, but we basically provide, it's a new offering, it's a tourism offering and it's called the Polynesian Experience. So the Polynesian Experience, um, as far as we have determined. Yeah. Uh, we're looking for an authentic one. We know that New Zealand, a lot of the tourists come to New Zealand to see the All Blacks, mm -hmm. and of course they have the Maori experience, but it just doesn't make sense that so many Pacific people here and there's no Polynesian experience. And the largest Polynesian city in the world. Exactly. So you'll notice that I'm not, we're not referring to Pacific as such because a lot of the American market refer to this side of the world as Polynesians, mm. hence why we're referring to this experience as mm. Polynesian experience. So what it is basically is a Polynesian cultural show followed by a dinner uh, that is of course Polynesian flavored um, and then upsells from that experience is uh, what you, we call experiential tours into where Polynesians live. Are we, are, are, are we talking about setting up a, a Polynesian culture center? No. As you, in the beginning, you yeah. read out the recommendation from that feasibility study. Um, it's not about, we're not creating a center. We believe that there are already many facilities existing in Auckland that could cater to such a, an event. Mm. And uh, we are so thankful and grateful that the Sky City has stepped in and given us a shot. Uh, where they've offered us the theatre, they've given us a shot uh, for six shows uh, for the Polynesian experience uh, to take place. And our first shows will be in February next year. No, we know only from where my Sabrina of our phone, my Walter and Jutunu, only for Allah will know in, Malifa Manatuina, Malifa Lautilina, Malifa Angaina, or two manga for Pacifica in AM Fionov on Mala Malama Lingata in Usila. Or you have to take a Maori to learn from them. And you have to tell you that the Pacific Islands are not the same. You have to tell us that the Pacific Islands are not the same. You have to tell us that the Pacific Islands are not the same. You have to tell us that the Pacific Islands are not the same. Le awal la fuile malam malam mai tengah tafau mai matang tu sesi si la fuile si la itu mahang atau atau mahfau me ay mahfau yang ni. Esa le la wa, ole ole pe ole manatul na na layon na fapio na a esetu fai fai le au nanga. Tu ala au nanga le pe onta tal no mo mo el Pacific Settlement Support. On a terminé les matos funding. On a fait un vivier les matos ma foufou. Et c'est si bien, c'est une étale ni na ma yele ya ta ta ou ma ouais c'est tout perfecti noël ou non là. On est là na ça ou l'ol poly X. On est on est. Mal poly X là va en il sait non. Mal poly X là on a loué va valoir mal Pacific Settlement Support Services. Yeah. Tu as le PC ni si là là tu me fais fai. Ma ou ma c'est tout perfecti. Em fayo na fai fua ele pesi ele fai toy ni wala SS ya. Oyo, o se tupe mawa mailea fanga tamal Polynesian experience le tua, 
o le fainga le o le tina o le show. Show. E mai e fa anga yo ya e le settlement le. Le na ta uwa lam tanga. Le tools fulu le na o mai malanga mai lalo le quarter. Le la o mai out sao yo to officer. Fail to tell nonga fail to wa o nanga. Yeah. Sao le o le o le o shows la e fai. O le afa peo na fai o siva. Tam fai fai le poly face style. Yeah. Well, I told Tang Tang I oily la ye le Pacific uh, Cultural Center la oil Hawaii. It was well, it man, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are looking for the traditional way of dancing al Pacifica. Mm. Le pese ma fai tang le ma te le le polyfest. Yeah. Or to enga siva la na le ma te man na oil or au siva voila. O ala lo mai le au siva pe o fiti o tu nuve ye la iti o le los full fa. A o ma oli sa mo tonga le fast fulu anga ilunga le mau te man a o ele te te le o siva o tanga te siva sala e pe o o siva ya o le afaye mai a ma oli la te te tala o tonga Cook Island sa mo fiti niwe o o la te o ya la fa pe o na fa ali ya o la te o siva i pe afaye le show a o ma le show ya tu valu ma to elau E se foi le anga ma li o la to foi ta anga ma la to foi siva, fa pacific. Sa le la, o siva na la fa peo na fai, fai le theater, i au ma lo fai le dina le fortuna. O la fa peo na i u ma me ai fa pacific. O le tu langa la le i le, let's talk about under the poly ex, poly experience, the social development, the cultural preservation, the charity support. O a tonu wa anga, what are you referring to? Let's talk about uh, social development. Yeah. Ole uh, ole poly X. Later te lo le te le yo fa now New Zealand lo fa pe no ole poly fest. I see va matulanga fa pe. I o malo poly fest uma. Okay. Ele o yai lava se si me a lo fa pe o na mo e se ngalwe ngase. O is it is it is it pela ole poly X. O lo tam fa o ma si na u ma fa yele show le. E mo wai ngalwe ngal fa now. Eu não mau aí foi nem pisi nem se aí é fapia, em fai foi não fai se mata, o culo pô fez se mata, o obsiva, o tulang vai pena eu não mau aí ngalwenga ele é ngata ele chupulanga ele nem se lá, aí mas se foi é mais lecota, alelei, o eu não vai tu entende fai ngalwenga ele vai ngalé o mais obsiva ele lecota. You can imagine right now within the next within the next year or two with the America's Cup here in Auckland, the city of sales, ah, já vai no a é mais fai eu não Ona si siva ma faali ta ato tu maanga i fanuga il temi tonu ilo le America's Cup. Ay awa le fai au kilani il vaanga lo o lo ala lai ma na no foil to te lo tato. Sa an le ona i mea ya faa pisi nisi saba va ai ya na i ai. Ay le nga te lea o e ye kele e te le i a fonu faa vao ma lo le faa peon fai mel tau sang fo. Conference as me. Ia. E ul fa mai la le Sky City ya. Wa leva. They've been looking for something like this for a long time. If there's no offering at night from either Maori or Pacific uh, or, or Polynesian. So we came at the right time. This is a nighttime show, uh, which not only our main focus is the international tourists, mm. but we're opening it also to our local because when we do the dances, we're gonna theme it mm. so that we also improve the awareness of those who are watching the show about the history of Polynesian, you know, mm. such as the Mao movement in Samoa, mm. Uh, potentially further down the, the road, we could talk about dawn raids here, yeah. mm. uh, about the Fijian way, you know, to how they've come about as a society. Many countries in the Pacific have mm. their own struggles and cultural um, uh, richness that we want to preserve. So that's when we talk about other benefits of social development is that children get to learn about their cultures in mm. a very fun manner by watching the show. Let's let's talk about uh, charity support. What's charity support under the Poly experience? Why we mention that is because the Polynesian experience, any profits we get from the Polynesian experience, we will funnel or support the Pacific settlement. That's the main reason why we created, or about the biggest reason why we created the Polynesian experience. Any profit that we get from here, is to try and support the Pacific Settlement Support Services because we do not have funding at the moment. And it's about not relying on government. Mm -hmm. It's about what gifts and talents has God given us so that we can commercialize it and fund this for our own people. Well, Sam, I'm going to talk about the Pacific Settlement Support Services. I'm going to talk about the Pacific Settlement Support Services. I'm going to talk about the Pacific Settlement Support Services. 
Yeah, yeah, Laura. Or Laura, Kyle, Kyle Hall. Hall. Yeah. yeah, my Mandy here. Yeah, my yeah. John Loa. Yeah. Yeah. My John Loa. Or all the time to know. Or to my leave all the time to know. Or long all the way. And if so, so any, it's time for now all the time to know. Beyond to far from us, I'm all the time. There were a matter. There were a matter. It let out no my. Or my long my son, my lalo the quarter. There were so so any. Ah, the fact you know the poly ex, poly poly experience. They're not to tell them not yet. Or say I want to learn for you and find out what they need. Or I want to also see, but the more I go, I don't find out my time to um. They're in front of the long, they're in front of the long time to hang up with two men. If I know my long no, I also I want to find out if I'm sound or if I'm not. My wife for is she spinny. If so, so I need to go and go. Or fact you know the Pacific Settlement Support Services. Yeah, okay, let me. Another Pacific Settlement Support Services, you are talking about business mentorship and development. Mm. Is that something that you feel that you will be able to enhance our people with doing their own, running their own small business from home? Or? Um, yes, in fact, two people that came from the quota ran their businesses in Samoa. Okay. Um, now that they've landed, they want to know how do we register, how do we go about. Um, and so for me, I'm the treasurer of Samoa Business Network. Um, and also Laura, we're part of that network. So the way of setting up the business comes second nature to us mm -hmm. because that's the world we, we lived in. I think Laura, myself and Mandy, we've been in a corporate world for over 30 years. Um, and that's what we do uh, as consultants right now um, is, you know, positioning people, setting them up, business plans and strategy. So we got two people that came and so we just helped them along there. So that's why mm -hmm. we thought, you know what? Anyone that's coming across, we've had a wide range of needs. We see the settlement support services as sort of like a one-stop shop approach for our people. So I'm going to tell you, 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 Le ava no mo ilato with so so ni ila amatanga o fa mo mo inga iya wa ma fu anga na le na le na amata si ilato tong finga sa sa no anga ilato no fang o fe tonu e mo wo yai iya ilato officer maltulanga le yeah olo mato yele nine Sharky Street numero iva Sharky Street in Manukau olo yele olo ingo le building pe ato ato le fale olo Pacific Business Hub iya o na olo yele officer imato olo sa mo mo ilato po inga olo Pacific Settlement Support Services, yeah, or the numero Eva Sharky Street in Manukau, the Pacific Business Hub, Business Hub in Manukau, or the Yale Lato Office, and I'll be here, yeah, Sabrina, Sitia Fale, yeah, Miss Foya, Laura Kyle Hall, yeah, Maltamata, your Mandy Sitia, yeah, Malasunga, yeah, Taliawa, John Law. John Law. So, so, no, I'm fine, I'm all done to you know. Fatai lava mo lava noa, fata. Ia Samoa, ia Oai lava sefi mo wale fso soani. Ia fapia ona sua tultato ofisa. Pe vili mai foile olu atasi, iva ono tolu tolu o atasi. Olo oyai foltato Facebook page for le le me vole ta le app yo folinga. Olo oyai le Pacific Settlement Support Services. E tanga iye ina fe ona iye sa appointment. E puka tu ina ona latu le sua tu tato te tal tal noa te le lava e mo fale tonu visa ia ulu yai tanga te anga va tonu le tu lang abe ona mato abe yai auto va tal tal noa le mata upu a ni si lava isi tu lang abe ona u mu mu ia sua tu le hap va abe ona tato tal tal noa va ipe va fair ona mato so sua ni ati auto va te lava. Yeah, Samoa. Many thanks for watching. You can catch us next week at the same time. See the program on Face TV on demand, YouTube, on Voyage Media website. Until next time, after tele, so far so far.